Hi guys, welcome back. So I just arrived at the sweet lady's house who I'm now helping fix the misfires on her 2003 Jeep Liberty. For those who have just came onto this episode and missed the first one, she had a check engine light that appeared on her dash for some time. And when I diagnosed the car, there was two codes that popped up. One was for a faulty radiator fan relay and then the other one was for an O2 sensor. So I replaced those two and the codes haven't popped up since, which is great. But after five minutes of driving, I started to feel the car kind of shaking and then before I knew it there was three misfires that appeared so my Innova 5610 has this cool application called repair solutions 2 which is definitely going to help for this next part so right here to the right I am showing you guys the live data results that I pulled from the first time that I diagnosed the Jeep after the cylinder started misfiring let's explain from the basis of the percentages shown in the live data replay short-term fuel trim from bank 1 and 2 stayed in between 3% consistently and then we look at long-term fuel trim bank one and two and the percentages are spiking over zero percent definitely showing it's running pretty lean the misfires happening on cylinder one three and six check out with the data provided most issues are found on bank one it's hard to base what's wrong with the jeep with these percentages but it definitely helps minimizing on what to check for first so what i'm gonna start with is check for vacuum leaks so i do have this little smoker machine here and this little smoker machine. Okay, so the smoke machine has been on and burning and where I'm gonna connect this little end tip is directly onto this little inlet for this cover. So this is like the air filter cover box. Are you guys seeing that? Look at that! Well guys, so it's pretty faint, but there's smoke. I'm gonna keep running this just to check, but it seems like it's only coming from that place. So, so I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna disconnect all of this. It looks completely destroyed. And this is exactly where, this is exactly why it was leaking air. So, 2987 phone number for the rewards. A 323? Three, three? Okay, so scratch out AutoZone because that 3 inch coupler did not work. And I also got a 4 inch coupler and that still did not work. So I need something that's going to resemble that OEM seal with an external clamp. So I actually ordered one from Advanced Auto Parts. It just came in today. It looks almost exactly the same as the OEM one. And I hope it's going to be the same size. It's a 3.8 inch, which I think is going to work because it needs to be between a 3 and 4 inch in order for it to fit properly. And since I'm going to also install that, might as well, I should just take out the injectors, the coil pack, the spark plugs, clean everything up, install it back, and maybe, hopefully, that's going to fix the issue. We're about to find out and see. So let's go to Advanced Auto Parts.
I successfully took out the coil pack and I'm about to take out the spark plugs but before I was going to take out the spark plugs I was actually going to remove the entire fuel rail with the injectors all together with it so then I could clean everything up and be able to inspect it but one of the nuts is getting rounded and I didn't bring um, enough things with me to be able to extract that nut so then at least I could replace it with something else so I'm just gonna leave it as is okay, guys so here are all the spark plugs and the coils there is a big difference between these are actually greased these are not greased not that that will have anything to do with the reason why the cylinders are misfiring but if we do look at the condition of the spark plugs so i remember i had mentioned one three and six were misfiring so this is the order we have one two three four five and six so some of these spark plugs don't look bad actually most of them don't so we look there, we look at this one. This one doesn't look too bad. We look at this one, this one's really bad. This one, like you can see all that uh, carbon buildup. Let's clean this off a bit with a WD-40. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install everything back onto the Jeep. So now the coil packs are completely cleaned. I cleaned all of them and i'm still gonna definitely put some grease on to install these back in and i also cleaned all of the spark plugs this is this is the best they came out so what a big difference what a huge difference i mean we could have probably done a little bit more but a lot of this is like stuck on and what i did is i in, ended up interchanging some of these spark plugs so then i can see if it's the spark plugs that's the issue or engine light pops up i did hook up my repair solutions to application it's already linked to the scanner so if i pull any engine codes it could just go directly to the app and then i can go from there but we're gonna see so far it's driving fine Wait. 